What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so sorry that it's taken me this long to get another video out. Uh, things at work have really picked up for me, but fortunately this week I had some downtime, so I put together this video for you all. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at three different ways to expose the origin IP address of a website using Cloudflare. If you're doing any kind of OSINT research on websites, you need to know what Cloudflare is and how it works. Now, before we get into what Cloudflare actually is, let's look at how many websites are using it. So right here we have one number, over seven and a half million websites, active websites, use Cloudflare worldwide. So let's talk about what Cloudflare is. So in their own words, Cloudflare is one of the world's largest networks of edge servers. Now. For our purposes for this video, all we need to know is that Cloudflare serves as a reverse proxy. So let's look at this little picture here. This laptop will be us. This thing here is Cloudflare. And this little thing here is going to be our target or the website or web server. Now, let's pretend that our website, it's example.com, right? That's our target. Let's pretend example.com is not using Cloudflare. When we navigate in our search bar, we navigate to example.com, we're going to send a request directly to example.com. Example.com is then going to respond to our request and send information back to us. Now, when that happens, and even if we didn't send any information, um, as long as we know the name of this website, example.com, we can run a reverse IP lookup on example.com, and that will give us its IP address. And as OSINT investigators, if that's all we need, then our job is done. Now, unfortunately for us, a lot of the websites are using Cloudflare, and Cloudflare does serve as a reverse proxy. So let's look at our example again. So this is us, we have Cloudflare, and we have example.com. Example.com is using Cloudflare. So when we want to send a request to example.com, our request is going to first go to Cloudflare. Cloudflare is going to look at it, make sure it's okay, and then forward it to example.com. Now, example.com is going to respond to us, but they're going to send their response to the Cloudflare reverse proxy, and then it's going to forward that response to us. So for us, we only see the Cloudflare IP address. And just so you know, Cloudflare has a series of, of IP addresses, um, but on each IP, ad IP address, they have hundreds and hundreds of uh, domain names, right? So example.com would be one of hundreds of names. So having the Cloudflare IP address does not really help us out at all. All right, now that we have a very simple understanding of Cloudflare, let's look at the three ways we can find the origin IP address of example.com. Now, I also I want to be clear these three ways I'm going to show you really have nothing to do with vulnerabilities or issues in Cloudflare, but they, they're really issues with whoever set up the website, right? So we're, we're hoping that uh, the administrator of the website, whoever configured it, made a few mistakes, and we're going to try to capitalize on those mistakes. The first tool we're going to look at is uh, Security Trails. Now, Security Trails is going to retrieve the historical data for us um, in terms of DNS records, and they also locate a lot of subdomains. Security Trails, they do have a free version um, where you can come in here and search as many times as you'd like, and if you want to use their API, I believe they give you 50 queries per month as their free version. Um, so this is totally something anyone can access. You do have to create an account, though. Um, so you can see here, I am logged in. Now, for the three ways that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show us here on how to uncover the origin IP address of a website, I'm actually going to use Cloudflare uh, as our target because right now Cloudflare is listed on, uh, as a public uh, bug bounty on BugCrowd. Um, so they are fair game to do research on uh, in this, this capacity. So first thing, we're going to come here and look at this uh, historical data tab. And you see we have A records, uh, quadruple A records, MX, mail servers, name servers, sort of authority, and text records. Um, for us, we're really, all of this information can be useful. But for us, we're going to look at the A records um, for sake of brevity for this video. Now, as you can see, Cloudflare uses, you know, its own service. Um, and this is, it uses Cloudflare to host itself. 
So Security Trails basically scans the whole internet. And so when it was crawling the internet or scanning the internet, first came across these two IP addresses uh, two years ago. And then it last saw these two IP addresses today, right? So that tells you that it's, that it's active. Now, what we're hoping for um, is that, and we're going to see it here actually with Cloudflare, um, we're hoping that as we scroll down, we're going to see something other than Cloudflare here. Um, and so as you can see, 13 years ago, we have GoDaddy, 123Net, Server Central Network. This is really good for us. And you might be wondering, why would Cloudflare be using different hosting software, or ho sorry, as a different hosting provider than itself? Um, and the reason for that is because Cloudflare initially started as a company that just tried to locate the source of email spam. And then it basically evolved into what it is today. So initially, they were using GoDaddy. This was 13 years ago. Then they switched to 123Net. Um, and then Server Central Network. And this is all before they went to Cloudflare. Now, if we were searching a, say, like a real target and uh, that was, say, hosting criminal content, um, or, or I'll give you an example for what I do with, with my day job. Um, when I have a website like this and they're using Cloudflare, which is really good for them to do um, in terms of their privacy and security, but if they've used, uh, say, a, hosting, a different hosting provider in the past, like Cloudflare has here, well, this is a finding for me. So I'll put this in a report and I'll send this to our legal team at, at my company and we'll send, you know, uh, I guess subpoenas or, or requests for information from, you know, GoDaddy, 123Net, Server Central Network. Say, hey, give us all the information you have on, uh, er, on these IP addresses and who registered them at this time. Right, so that's one thing that we can do. And beyond looking at historical A records, we can basically do the same thing, um, you know, looking at mail servers, so, you know, who was, who was letting them, um, you know, send and receive email. It's like uh, Cloudflare only used Google. However, 13 years, years ago, they did use GoDaddy. So kind of the same thing there. We're looking for things that are, are different. Um, the name servers, right? So DNS, or sorry, uh, Cloudflare does provide its own, uh, like, DNS name servers for its clients. Just because we have this name server, that tells us nothing about the target, Right. But if we scroll down and we see, oh, they were using GoDaddy here, um, you know, Confluence Networks here, Dose Arrest Internet Security, whatever that is. Um, now we have something else to work with and we could perhaps gather more information. Um, you know, obviously, if you're working in, say, law enforcement or uh, in the private sector working for a company, we're able to basically subpoena uh, GoDaddy or, or send these legal requests and which they have to comply um, so that's how we're able to gather information. However, if you don't have that luxury, perhaps this is just another piece of the puzzle for you. Um, so that's pretty much it for for using security trails and checking for his, you know historical records, historical DNS records. Um, and with that, we can move on to the next tool. And the next one, we're going to use a similar tool. It's called Census, and we're going to search. Now, with the, with Census, uh, you don't have to be logged in. It's a free tool. Um, if you're not, if you don't have an account, I believe you get 10 requests per day. And once you make an account, you get 250 requests per month. And that, that includes uh, API requests. Um, so unlike security trails, you don't get unlimited searches here. I'm going to search for certificates that are using, that have cloudflare.com in the name. Now, as you can see, this returns... 225,000 results. So that's quite a lot to, to look through. And you can also tell with the first result, the first one is www.test-bh-prod-cloudflare.com. This is most likely not related to Cloudflare, what we're actually searching. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to type in parsed.names.raw with the colon. Search that. That's going to give us all the certificates that specifically have cloudflare.com. And you see we narrowed our results down to just under 3,000. That's still a lot. Um, but you can see at least here we're getting cloudflare.com with wildcards, other, um, you know, other subdomains as well. So we can have a look through here. It gives us the date on when this, how long the certificates are valid. And essentially what we're doing, you know, when we're looking at targets like this, we're normally not going to be looking 
are not going to find targets that are this big that are going to return 3,000 results. Um, typically, you know, you'll find some that will return 10, 20, sometimes a couple hundred. Um, and a lot of the certificates will be it have already been expired. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this top certificate here. And with this, what's so important about this technique is we're, or what we're trying to find is we're trying to find websites that are, say, the criminals have set up, the criminals we're investigating. So they've set up two websites. They both use the same certificate, which is what we're searching here. But one of the websites is protected with Cloudflare and the other's not. The other has a bit more exposure. So what we're going to do is we're going to search the certificate like we're doing now. And we're going to come over here on this Explore tab. And it says what's using this certificate. And we're going to click Host. And as you can see, we found 155 hosts that are using the exact same certificate um, as the one we clicked on, which was the, the Cloudflare.com. Now, typically, from my experience, um, when we're investigating you know, websites that are hosting illegal content or are committing crimes or whatever, whatever it may be, they're not. Usually, this doesn't work that well. Um, it's happened a couple times where I've found some of the hosts. Now, what we're going to have to do here, since there's 155, is one of these could be the origin IP address. Uh, like I said, typically, though, you don't have this many. Usually, it's one or two, and that's a lot easier to go through than 155. But essentially, all of these hosts, these IP addresses, are using the exact same certificate. And our, our goal, what we're hoping happens, is one of the websites is protected using Cloudflare, and the other is not. Um, and we're hoping the other one is the origin IP address. And it's just, a, it's just a simple way for us to find all the websites using the same certificate that our target website is using. Um, and that could perhaps give us the origin IP address. So that's what we did here. Um, the last method I'm going to show you uh, involves using uh, favicon hashes. And once again, we're going to use Cloud, Cloudflare for that. So you can see we're on Cloudflare's website here. So favicon is this little thing up here, this icon that appears next to the title, that is our favicon. And most websites have a unique favicon. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the favicon hash, and then we're gonna use Shodan to find all the other websites using the exact same favicon. Um, so in order to get the favicon hash, right click, inspect, and then we're gonna control F to search, and we're just gonna type in favicon, and you see we got it right here. So it's just backslash favicon.ico. So we're going to put that in here, HTTPS, uh, colon dash dash www.cloudflare.com slash favicon.ico. We're going to click calculate hash. And it's going to give us this value here. We're going to copy this. Whoops. Let me get all of it. We're going to just copy this. And we're going to use Shodan. And for Shodan, we're going to search http.favicon.hash. We're going to input the hash there. There's, there's no space between the colon and the first digit of the hash, by the way. We're going to click search. And this is going to give us all the websites that are using the, this favicon here. So as you can tell, we found 652 results. Once again, the vast majority of websites um, that are going to be of interest to us that we're going to be search that we're going to be investigating um, are not going to be this big so we will be lucky if there's any websites uh, that, that we get results from with this method um, but yeah as you can tell we've uncovered 652 results that's a lot to look through um, but like I said most of our targets are going to be much smaller so I'm going to be a handful of sites we have to look through. And it's going to show us other websites that are using the same hash. Typically, websites have like a unique hash that they use. And so once again, similar to the last method of using uh, census to check for certificates. And so what we're hoping to accomplish by searching for the fav favicon hash is we're going to locate all the websites using that favicon hash. And we're hoping that the administrators of these websites have not set up all the websites to work with Cloudflare. That's our, that's our, our goal here. Um, and once again, hopefully we can find one or two that are not using uh, Cloudflare, and then perhaps one of those could be the origin IP address of our website. And everyone, that concludes this video. Please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions 
Um, or if you have any suggestions for a future video, thank you very much.